So I, I always thought um, I was going to have to do a lot of pitches in my career, but I, I always thought I was going to be as an entrepreneur, not as a VC. So this is, a, this is an interesting role reversal. Um, I grew up kind of uh, enamored with technology. So I started coding when I was about seven years old, seven or eight. Uh, sold my first software license at about 13. Uh, and by the time I graduated from university, I was actually kind of sick of, of it. I actually had been coding for about 15 years and moved over to, to the business side. So I had an opportunity to experience um, you know, implementation at, consult, at, at uh, customer sites, pre-sales, uh, product marketing, business development. So I've had uh, so, no, some chance to do the operational roles that you, you experience in your companies and some empathy for that. I, I haven't had to own a p and you know, haven't brought a company to exit. Those are much harder uh, to achieve, but uh, I think that level of, of empathy and experience is probably helpful uh, in, in setting a baseline. Um, what really, I, I always wanted to start a company of my own, uh, and there was always something getting in the way. I think one of the things that you want to make sure you do with your co-founders is to make sure that you all have the emotional and financial reserves uh, kind of checked before you embark on that, because uh, some, a lot of times I had kind of false starts in, uh, in businesses where you know, someone decided all of a sudden they had to support their family after all. Some of these things are actually kind of foreseeable. So you know, ma make sure that you, you kind of um, plan for this. Um, eventually, I decided that I was missing some parts of my skill set, and I, I was trying to become a better uh, potential CEO. I thought I missed, uh, I didn't really understand finance, didn't understand accounting, uh, had a lot to learn in marketing. And I, I made uh, a choice uh, to, go to, to do an MBA which can be you know, positive or negative. The positive point is that you kind of get those skill sets. Uh, the negative thing is that it makes you much more risk averse uh, because you often go from having, having money to, to owing money and it, uh, it, changes, it changes your perspective. So if you're thinking about doing an MBA um, and you still want to be an entrepreneur, I would say you know, give it a second thought. If you want to be a VC, then you know, it's probably a good path. Um, actually, during the program, I didn't really do any recruiting. I was really convinced that I was going to start a company. Um, but then what actually, I, I got a call out of the blue from Neil Reimer uh, of Index Ventures. And uh, I agreed to meet with his, his little brother, Danny, uh, because he was coming to, to campus at the, to the private equity conference. And um, you know, almost as soon as Danny and I sat down, the first thing that he said to me was, you don't look like a VC. I think it might be the hair. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if Jason Pinto is here. It's Jason. So long as Jason's in the business, I'll never have the best hair in venture capital. <laughs> so. But anyway, he said, he said, you know, don't you have a business plan to pitch? And I said, actually, yes, I do. Uh, and I, I spent the entire interview not pitching me as a VC, but pitching me as an entrepreneur. And the funny thing was, uh, it actually worked. And in the end, I ended up going to Geneva and working for Neil, uh, getting into venture capital. And my justification at the time was that it was going to make me a better investor to understand how they think. I was going to do it for a few years. And uh, well, it turns out I actually like, like the work and, and all. And um, you know, I have a chance to work with passionate entrepreneurs every day and uh, see a, v a view in the future. It's not the same thing as, uh, as doing it yourself, being the active. I mean, you're not the star of the show, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty great. And um, you know, one of the things that taking that meeting taught me was the value of making space for, for random meetings. Uh, sometimes they can change your life. Uh, you know, great things can happen when the stars align. And um, it's one of the reasons that I, I've, I've come today, even though we have a later stage focus, is to make space for you know, serendipity. And uh, it also led me to my first investment uh, in Neo Technology, which I, I think is a very exciting early stage company. It's my first lead investment, and technically speaking, doesn't fit our criteria. But uh, I sort of fell in love with the entrepreneur, fell in love with the market, and very happy that I, that I took that meeting. So, uh, you know, make time. Um, then I would say, you know, another point is that, you know, both of us, both European VCs and European entrepreneurs, are often criticized for selling out too early and not thinking big enough. And I think that's what we've set as our mission as a fund uh, at Fidelity Growth Partners. We are trying to give people entrepreneurs who have big ambition, uh, the ammunition to keep going and to uh, you know, continue to grow even when others would sell. And uh, you know, that's, that's really what we're looking for, to ultimately create significant, lasting businesses uh, so that eventually we can create new European acquirers, not just always sell to the Americans. 
Um, I mean, like most venture investors, you know, our initial evaluation, just to be efficient, is somewhat instinctual. You know, you have to employ pattern matching uh, to, to kind of filter out this fire hose we've been talking about. Um, but because we focus on revenue stage businesses, we also have to make a little bit of use of that, of Ronald Reagan's favorite Russian proverb, which is trust but verify. So unfortunately, we have to be a little more thorough than your average seed investor. There's, there's more to investigate. There's more operational history, generally. Uh, but the good news is that once we've done that upfront work, uh, we tend to uh, have the conviction to follow through, and we understand your business. Uh, we don't run it. We, our, our goal is to back you, the founder, you're the stars of the show, um, but we, we're our, we see our role as removing obstacles and being helpful uh, for you to achieve the goals that you're setting. And anyway, thanks for that. I've enjoyed meeting a lot of you today and look forward to meeting more of you at the break. Thanks. <laughs>